Hey YouTube! So I'm about to make uh, this china cabinet I picked up from uh, Habitat for Humanity Restore uh, into a piece that will fit into my current home decor. And I'm going to go with a spat splash of color on this one, a bright green, like an apple green. It's actually called Vegas Green um, and a white interior. It has this metal hatch on it. Um, that I'm not fond of so I'll see if I can take that off um, and then the inside will be the ultra white Valspar chalk paint I made it myself and then I mixed my own uh, Las Vegas green chalk paint um, and we'll see how that goes it's in really really great condition the only um, repair I had to make was to rep replace a hat, uh, magnetic latch um, this one had gotten old and actually the magnet was missing from the inside. So I went ahead and uh, picked up just one of those um, little kits that they have at Lowe's. And it was only $2, I think, um, $2.68 and replaced that magnetic latch. Um, and I did want to show you that this, price, this piece started off at the Habitat, and I hope you can see that, at $1.75. Um, it stayed four weeks and they mark it down by 20% each week um, or more, 20% or more, and it ended up being $20, so I snatched it. Um, all right, so no more repairs have to be made. I'm going to wipe it down, then begin painting, um, and then I'll put a clear uh, polycrylic on it because I don't want it to de-stress more than it naturally will um, when using the chalk paint. y'all so okay so I have done all of the white painting um, and I've taken out all the glass and also those um, ugly metal screens that were on both sides um, I went ahead and made sure 
that I wiped the piece down and then I taped off the area that I don't want my outside color to penetrate so that I get a straight line um, but the end is completely white I have not at this point I have not um, done any polycrylic no shine no protective coat this is all just the white um, chalk paint so the next step is to go ahead and start the outside um, portion and I actually was able to I mix my own chalk paint um, and this is Vegas green it is so pretty so that's going to be the outside color the inside of course will be white and then once I'm done painting all of it then I'll go ahead and um, put the poly the coat of polycrylic um, on all of it and that would probably be two or three coats depending on um, after the second coat I'll make a determination of whether or not I'll need a third coat but so far that's what it's looking like so um, I'm going to close up this drawer here where I just remove the magnetic pieces and go ahead and give it a pretty coat of green So this is, we are currently two coats down of the um, Vegas green. And I think it looks really good. Um, and it has, it's, it's perfect chalky finish. Um, so I have a few touch up areas and let me just show you where those are. Um, primarily on all the door panels where you see these corner edges um, where the paint was couldn't get into those areas because the brush was the rounded brush which is too big for that so I got this small um, brush here um, and it's not natural fibers but <laughs> it was the only one I could find on hand 
um, and I'm going to try it out and see how it works. Uh, and then I also have to go over this part right here because this part, um, as you know, the white is in the inside. So some of the white came over this line here. And so I've been painting it down. So it's going to need a whole full coat in order to hide that white. So that's why that looks a bit, little bit discolored. Um, but the rest of the piece came out really well. <clears throat> two coats, great coverage. And let me show you how much this bottle was. Let's see, two thirds of the way full and I still have a third left. So I've only used, I made, I was able to make two of these mason jar bottles of chalk paint um, with one quart of the Vegas green latex flat paint. And so I've only been a, I've only used a quarter I'm sorry a third of this bottle so far so I'm just going to use a little bit more to make some touch-ups to this and then we will finish with some polycrylic and then I'll put it in place so that you all can see what I have to put in there and it will be um, part of my well most of my silver and uh, milk glass collection so I got a lot of silver cleaning to do a lot of milk glass cleaning to do so that I can display it once we get it into the living room in its final resting place and yeah when I say a lot I actually have a lot of silver cleaning to do so I have all of those pieces some of the pieces you've seen in prior videos and I've already cleaned them um, and there's some milk glass back there and then I have this whole row of pieces of silver that I haven't cleaned yet um, and then it even goes down to here and then that's the majority of my milk glass I still have stashes elsewhere um, that I'm gonna wipe down and use those as well so this is the stash, my three shelf stash of finds that will somehow make its way into that beautiful green giant cabinet.